it started. Okay. <laughs> Usually the lady says this is being recorded, but she didn't. All right. Hello. Hello. This is Melissa, the insurance exam queen. And I am super excited to be here today with this class, which is going to be run by Charmaine and Jeff. I will actually be dipping out here in a minute because it's one of my few nights that I get with the whole family together because David likes to go play pool and uh, I stay at home with the baby. So Monday nights we get to hang out together. But anyway, I digress. Um, I am super stoked for this class because one, I have learned the power of being able to make your own money in your own way on your own time without anyone else dictating the value um, and the worth of, of your days and your hours. The insurance exam queen business has, has I, I built a six figure business in less than one year and it's now almost, it's already past half a million. And it's just going to keep growing and growing. And I'm super excited about that. And I also um, am really passionate about helping people understand that they can go from a W-2 job where you're stuck based on someone else's decision about how much money you should make, someone else's decision about what time you need to be there, someone else's decision about what best skills and talents you get to use and switching that mindset to you get to decide your schedule, you get to decide your time, you get to decide your value and your worth. And it's just so super amazing. And then when you add that to insurance, like I, I started completely from scratch as the insurance exam queen business. I made my own YouTube channel, figured out how to make my own courses and all this stuff. I don't know if I could turn that little beepy sound off. <laughs> Every time someone comes in the waiting room, beep, beep, but it actually it's really good for me. I don't know if you guys can hear it, but I can, but I usually forget to check the waiting room. So it's a good thing. But anyway, I squirrel so much. You guys know this, um, but I'm very passionate about helping people go from being stuck in a mindset of, I have to have a secure paycheck W2 job to, I get to dictate my life. I get to do my skills. I get to tap into my genius and I get to make however much money from that I want to. And I did it by making my own online business um, around insurance because I'm actually super passionate about insurance. Jeff and Charmaine, they're running this class tonight because they've done that model using insurance. So they went from a W-2 job. In fact, we all used to work together at USAA, which is how we all met. So we all used to sell auto insurance and homeowners insurance, relying on that, that W-2 and we have now gone off on our own to start our own businesses, to make our own money, to be in charge of our own time, to be in charge of our own skills, our own talents, and to really have a life of, of freedom. So for me, this is all about building a life of freedom, building a life that you're passionate about and using insurance as a mechanism to do that. It's an already, like I said, like I said earlier before I hit recording, it is a trillion dollar pie. Insurance is a massive industry loaded with money. And there are so many different ways that you can make it. And every time you sign up to do a W-2 job, you have to know that they're the people who, who have hired you and the company that you're working for, they're making most of the money from the work that you're doing. You're making the least amount of money from the work that you're doing when you're in a W-2 job. So by switching to a 1099 job, um, uh, and I would say job lightly because it's not technically a job as we traditionally think, but when you go to 1099, you get to make the most money out of what you're doing. So it's a magic slip. It's a magic switch. Um, and that's why I'm so passionate about it. And additionally, I'll just very quickly say one big thing about us being able to make as much money as we want is flipping our, not just figuring out a successful path, like following what Charmaine and Jeff have done, but flipping your beliefs about money. If you think making money is hard, you're going to find evidence that making money is hard. If you think that only lucky people can make a lot of money, you will only see lucky people making a lot of money. You have to believe that making money is easy. You have to believe that you can make as much money as you want. And I started a second YouTube channel called Melissa Mae Dillon, all about magic money. And I even have a membership tied to that. If you have any interest in all in growing and expanding your bank account beyond your wildest dreams, that's what magic money is all about. And I talk so much about flipping that mindset of I have to have a safe W-2 job to I can have a 1099 business. But Charmaine and Jeff are going to break it down way better for you. And that was my time. That was the that was the signal for me to go. So <laughs> I'm going to pass it on over to them. I'm so excited about this. I can't wait to watch the recording. So I love you all, all the love and all the vibes. And I'm going to go ahead and switch this over to them. So my, Jeff, Jeff yeah, I'm going to turn Jeff on as the host. Oh. Perfect. Thanks, Melissa. Melissa. Thank you. Have fun tonight. 
Hi, everyone. I was so nervous coming in here. I'm like coming up the stairs. I'm like about to throw up. I'm like, I'm not ready for this, but I really do like to talk. So we'll, we'll see how this goes. Um, I just wanted to share like who we are. So we are Jeff and Charmaine Cross. We've been together 13 years or so. Um, we are married. We have a blended family. We have two kids in college and three sophomores. So we are super, super busy. And that was one of the reasons why we decided we wanted to get out of the workforce, like going to a job every day. We have high school kids at home and I don't want a bunch of kids at my house without supervision and all of that stuff. So that's why we kind of transitioned this way. Um, and yeah, it's just, it's been super, super fun, but we all started at USA together. Um, did PNC working for a corporation for, I was there 15 years. Um, I just was over it. I was over answering those phone calls, getting that beep in my ear every two seconds. As soon as you hang up, another beep, another beep, another beep. And our income wasn't changing. Like you get your two to 3% raise every year. And I was just over it. So that's why I decided to do this. And I had never done life and health. So this is my well, first time doing life and health was with this business. So I'm super excited, but I want Jeff to kind of tell you a little bit about him. Thank you. Um, I'm Jeff Cross. Um, like Charmaine and Melissa both said that, you know, we all worked for USA together um, a while back. I've worked with Melissa 14 years ago uh, when she was actually one of my students way before she became <laughs> the amazing superstar she is today. Um but I spent 25 years at USAA in different capacities as a rep. I spent 10 years as a trainer. So training the you know new employees, incumbent employees, and all things PNC on the personal side. Didn't really get into commercial. Um, and then I went to underwriting. So I spent some time in underwriting and then in a compliance role um, right before I left. But like Charmaine said, we're a blended family. We have five kids. They're all over the place. They're busy. You know, being stuck at a desk really makes it more difficult for us to be able to be there for our kids, transport them to practices and from practices. And, you know, they're all involved in different things at different times, right? So it made it difficult. Um, COVID had a lot to do with my changing that decision, you know, being home for that time, you get into new routines, new habits, new patterns, new things like that. And then when it's time to go back into the office, you know, it wasn't worth it on top of the fact that I had worked for, you know, 23 years to get to the job. I always thought I wanted to find out that that was really the end of it for me. And I just started to decided to jump ship with Charmaine when, when she first made the switch into this business that we're, that we're in, it took me a few months later and I came aboard with her and here we are today to share our experience with you guys and show some of the opportunities that are out there that Melissa had mentioned. Um, and, you know, just to give you guys more of the information as you guys progress into your insurance careers, um, things to look out for and be aware of and um, help you make the best decisions for yourselves and for your family. So with that, I'm going to go ahead and share my screen. Charmaine's going to narrate and um, I'll jump in here and there when she lets me. You guys can all see my screen. I didn't even put that part up. That was what we we're supposed to have first. <laughs> and then yeah. we were going to say who we are. So who we are, we just told you who we are. Um, if you have any questions, go ahead and put them in the chat. We will do a Q&A at the end where you can unmute and ask whatever questions. Um, if you have a question, Jeff will be able to look and see like if you have something specific that I'm talking about that you want answered. So go ahead. Next. All right, so we kind of just wanted to go over like, what is your vision? So when you are coming into getting your license or you've gotten your license or you're about to get your license, like what is your vision for what you're what you want to do? Like the way that we look at it, like are you design want to design your life and you decide when you work, all the things like that, how much money you make, or are you gonna just make a living? You have a job, you have steady income that kind of stuff. Like, what is your vision for what you want? Um, own your, your own business versus a W-2 job. Like, there's a lot of things to choose from based on your, what is going on in your life. Like, maybe you need that set income every month, and that's something that you want to think about. So, we'll go to the next screen. So, kind of some things to look at. Like when you are, I'm going to move this. I have it on the top. So like pivotal points, like what are you thinking of? 
what are you proud of when you're looking at your career? Am I fulfilled? Are you doing something you love? Is it something that you're like, I go and I leave and I just, I'm not really happy? Or will I be happy in five years if I choose to work a job or if I choose to do a business? Like, which way are you wanting to go? Is it something I'm going to regret? Am I going to regret working at a job for 15 years like I did? <laughs> Am I going to regret not starting something sooner? Or, you know, is it something that you're going to be good at? Now, will you, are you, will I make mistakes? abso freaking lutely we are all here. We are all make, we will make mistakes at everything we do. And that's the beauty of it. When we start your own business, you can, you can make those mistakes and correct them as you go. So that's just some things to sort of think about as you are starting the journey of what you want to do. You like starting a business is not easy, but neither is it going to a job every day. So definitely just some things to think about next. All right, so this I want some interaction. So I want people to kind of go, I want, want to go over some pros and cons of working for an employer, having a W-2 job. What are some pros that you would say for working for an employer? Can either pop them in the chat or steady income, yep. Benefits, security, yep. Keep guessing, keep, what, what other pros would you say of having a job, going to a job every day? There's making friends in the making office. Friends. That is true. Or making wife or husband. Mm -hmm. Paid time off. Yep. Learning as a beginner. That's yep. another one. Yep. And then how about making friends in the office though? That's a really big one, especially like we met so many of our like best, best friends at USAA, but who have, even after we've left, we've remained friends with these people for so long. So it's really, really cool. Retirement experience gained. Yep. Eddie, Eddie you said mentors, right? That's a big one, especially starting out. You want to make sure you have someone more experienced to be able to tap into. Yep. Right. Not having to worry about quarterly tax yes. taxes. Yep. Mm -hmm. <laughs> 401k experience. Structures in place. Yep. How about some cons? What do you, what would you say some cons are for work, having an employer or going to a job every day? Micromanagement. Micromanagement. Yes. Office, Office politics. politics. Yep. For sure. Supervisors. Bo yep. The bosses. Yep. Yep. Micromanagement's the worst. That's for sure. Overtime. Yep. Yep. Cubicles. <laughs> Yep, set schedule. Stealing your food out of the fridge, for sure. <laughs> or cooking stinky food in the break rooms. <laughs> yep. High school student, yep. Not having the, enough time off or being able to pick when you're able to use that time off. Yep. Having yep. to ask for time off is the worst, I think. Micromanagement is definitely one of the big ones, too. Yep. Dang, I love this engagement. Yes. Okay, so employer we're gonna owns your time is a big one. Employer owning your time that Maria said yep. that's huge. Yep. yep. And we a lot of these we just go to the next screen and we can just go over. We all kind of said what we what you guys all said: stability, predictable income, predictable schedule, benefits, job security, some of the cons, limited flexibility, limited income growth, less potential for high earnings. One of the big ones that we noticed is the competition for promotions. So there may be only one promotion or one, you know, that next rank up or next whatever. And you have 20 or 30 people competing for that job. And there's only one that's going to get there. That's something that I really, really hated. Jeff kind of experienced that a lot at USAA too, like, getting overlooked for certain positions, somebody coming in with less experience, getting it, you know, that kind of stuff. And it, it happens in corporate. It just does. Okay. Next let's go into, what do you think some pros of starting your own business would be like, what things would you like to see if you were starting your own business? Like what would be things that you would think would be awesome? You boss. are the boss. Yep. Flexibility. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. Your time and your money are your own. Freedom and flexibility, yep. No limitations. No limitations is very, yes, can work in pajamas, girl. Okay, you can be party on the top 
and wear a cute shirt and then you have sweats and slippers on your feet. That's just the way it works when you work from home. Mm -hmm. You can work from wherever. There's a story recently of an agent who issued life policies while sitting on the beach. Mm -hmm. right. like, all the time happens. New relationship, freedom of your own schedule, equity, real passive forever income. Yep. Don't have to worry about taking vacation. And oh yeah. Do you just it's all <laughs> it's it's with you all the time. Yep. Awesome. Sure. How about some cons? What would you think some some downfalls would be with if you had your own business? Like, what would you consider it being a bad thing? Unsure of income. Mm -hmm. Yep. Low volume. Finding leads. Finding leads. We'll yeah. go over that. You don't work, you don't get paid. You own your time, right? Like yep. somebody mentioned before, you do own your time. It's what you do at that time is what's most important. Yep. Cold calling. We'll go over that, Gabby. Inconsistent income. Mm -hmm. There is definitely, it could be inconsistent. Yeah, not enough hours in the day. The beauty of that is, is you own your schedule. Like you set time for everything. You set time when you do this. You set time for when you deal with people, You appointments, all the things. Taxes, training, do not know structure. Yep. yep. <laughs> That's a hard one, yeah. Listen to wrong advice. Mm -hmm. no company benefits or paid time off the thing with that one when you own your own business you can do something on monday and it could pay you for the week like you might not even need to take specific like hourly pay so that's we'll go over that too definitely not for the irresponsible that is 100 percent true you have to be you have to be a go-getter and you have to be consistent for sure very cool we're gonna go over the next slide but you basically all said said it all so flexibility is a pro potential for high earnings control over work flexible schedule no driving in traffic that to me is everything the last i did have a job um over a little over a year ago and it was about 45 minute drive for me so if i went during normal rush hour it sometimes took an hour and a half and then an hour coming home and i'm like i cannot be in the car an hour a day like this is nuts so that was when i fired that one <laughs> um potential to work from anywhere like you can work from home you can work from starbucks you can work from the beach you can work from vegas we went to vegas in december and we were working in the morning from our hotel room it was awesome and then you have the ability to grow yourself as a person and as a leader because you have to you have to, if you're going to be a business owner you have to not only grow yourself but you have to grow enough to where you can help people along the way also and then there's some of the cons must be self-disciplined. And that is 100% true. We have found that ourselves throughout this journey is if you're not ready to go like every day, it's good. It's a struggle. So you have to kind of put yourself back on task. No guaranteed income, no job security, no employee benefits, um, tax responsibilities. You do need some financial resources, obviously, because you're going to need to grow yourself and invest in your business. And then legal resources potential, maybe. So those are just, you guys basically said all that. So the next thing we are going to go over is what would you, what are the like importance of the work environment? So what are some of the most important things to consider when you're choosing a work environment, whether it's a bit, a job or a business, like when you are looking, what are you, some things that you're looking for in a business, how they train training, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yep. Anyone else? Anything else there? Positivity. Yep. Mm -hmm. Healthy environment, stability, Healthy environment. growth, flexibility, a legit business. <laughs> Dude, that's the crazy part because there's so much out there that they're you're like, is this even real? Like, I don't even know if this is real. So yep, why did the last person leave? Usually when people leave, it's what we have seen anyway. Like if somebody quits it's usually because they didn't work. Like they just didn't feel success or they, and they just like gave up too soon, which is what you usually see is when someone starts their own business, they usually give up too quick. Yep. Bad bosses like, is for like, sure. Like Lewis said, yeah. There's, I heard statistics a long time ago. I'm not sure how much it still rings true today, but it seems like it would. Most people quit their bosses more than they quit their job, right? Yep. Most people, and that is facts for me too. Very good, 100%. Yep, 
Very good. Cool. All right. So the next thing we're going to go, we're just going to, the next slide is just some things that we thought about. What is that? Okay. So some important pieces that we were thinking of pay structure, the culture, core values, like what is the company's core values? Are their mentors as their leadership lead availability? Like some places will, you'll go and they'll have leads, but they're like 10 years old or five years old or, you know, whatever. And they're like, oh, but they're free leads. And they're telling you they're free leads. So yeah, but they might not be good. Team dynamics. Do you have a good team? Is there people that you work with? Is there people to bounce ideas off of? Because when you're starting a business, you, there's so much that goes on in your head. Like, am I doing this right? What should, and you have to go to people that have been there before you, you know, partnerships. Is there people to partner with that you can, you know, go together? Like, um, what do we call them? Running partners, product types. How many products do you have? Is there only one product that you can sell? Is there only one company that you can sell for? Because that does make a difference. So success is often achieved by those who don't know that failure is inevitable. So that's what they always say. Fail fast and fail forward is how they say it in our business. Like you want to fail. That means you're working. That means you're doing the things. So that's what they say all the time. Fail fast and fail often. I'm like, okay, that sounds scary, but okay. Get all the ugly out as soon as you can. Yeah. Get all the ugly out right away. That's what we say. Go ahead. Next one. All right. So we're going to talk about starting your own business and we're going to show you what we have done and the reason why we're going to do this. So we have the ability to help people start their own businesses you know, with us. But what we want to make sure too, is when you, if you're in the process and you're looking still for what you're going to do next, you know, you're, there's so many company options out there to choose from if you're going to do on your own. And we want to just be able to show you like what we have and then what some things that we, why we chose what we, what we're doing that way, when you're looking for what you're going to do, you, you know, you have something to compare it to. You can say, you know, this company had this, this company had that. That's going to be how you're going to make your decision the easiest, I feel like. We looked at, I looked at a couple um, companies and one of them actually, I had him, I think it was during, actually during COVID and he, I met up with him and I didn't know anything about life and health at this point. And it was like so pushy. And so like, you need to do this right now. You need to get your license right now. And it was like, I don't even know if I want to do this. So I just never, ever went forward with it. And I was like, so scared about that ever since then. So anytime I hear it, I'm like, oh God, they were so pushy to me. <laughs> so scared. So we're going to go ahead and go into what we do. And we're going to show you a couple things. So this is the company that we chose to partner with. It's called Symmetry Financial Group. And the big umbrella is Quility. Quility is the big umbrella. Symmetry is how we are run. And we're going to give you some little introduction to what, what it is and why we chose it. And that way you have some ideas of what's out there and what's available for you guys. Go ahead and go next. It's gonna play a quick video. I can't hear it. Hold please. Can't hear it. Can't hear. Mm -mm. Pause it. Can anybody else hear it? Yeah, they can't hear it either. I can't hear it. Okay, good. Yeah, I'm like, okay, it's not just me. Well, let's see if we can troubleshoot real quick. Were you able to hear it with your headphones on? Yeah, my headphones are working just fine. So maybe, maybe. you take the headphones. Yeah, I might have to turn them off. I'm going to turn them off. <laughs> That's right, Miranda. One job, Jeff. <laughs> yes, he did have one job. Amanda, you are with Symmetry right now. We'll talk. Um, I can't hear it still. Okay, just, we'll turn it off. Just turn that video off. We'll just go over the presentation. 
We'll just stop it. <laughs> just stop the video. We'll, we'll skip it. Yeah. Well, I hope the the um, testimonials work. Yeah, we'll have to see if that works or not. Okay. Next. Okay. All right, so we'll just go over it. It's fine. The the video we can put in the comments, and you can Jeff will. He's definitely going to narrate at some point. I'm gonna I'm gonna bring him on when my mouth gets dry. <laughs> So this is why symmetry. So the we have the ability to work for ourselves, but not by ourselves. It's a turnkey business model, um, culture of strong core values and leadership development. And that is the number one thing that I love on our team is my mentor is at the top, top, top of the company. And he is always there. We can text at any point. He will respond. And that's how we are you know, choosing to be with our people as well. Um, the ability to scale our income, no caps on potential earnings. So whatever you can do, you make it. The, the carriers are the ones that pay us. So we have up to 50 carriers that we work with. Um, time and money freedom, omni-channel support from home, office, and your upline. Recession-resistant industry, like, like Melissa was saying earlier, is that the insurance industry is a trillion dollar industry and it's not going anywhere. Like everyone needs it. Everyone at some point is going to need it. And if they don't, then they're, you know, relying on the GoFundMes and stuff like that. So that's where we, my goal is to not have anyone that I know or love have to fundraise when they lose a family member. Cause that I know the, I know that all too well. I lost two siblings. And if I would have had to fundraise, to bury them, I can't even imagine where I would be because I don't even remember that, you know, that time frame at all. And it's meaningful and impactful work. You know, it's not just selling, you know, a protein shake or it's not just giving somebody auto insurance or whatever. It's something that's going to build a legacy for a family. So, yeah. And as we go through these, like, think about the things that we talked about before when we asked about what are the pros and cons of working a W-2 job or working for yourself or what kind of things do we look for when choosing an employer, right? So symmetry does a lot of the things that we'd like in a traditional work environment job as a W-2 job in a work for your home business. We have the mentorship. We have amazing mentors upline and across the organization. We, we got to go to a thing last month well, two months ago now, um, a boot camp here in Phoenix. And we met so many other amazing people that were not in our in our direct line, our, our, our direct chain, so to speak. Um, but everyone's willing to share, right? Yep. Everyone's willing to support you, um, share their own experiences, help train. Um, so it's it's amazing. And, you know, we'll, we'll go through some more examples of what we do like in work as we continue to go through here and kind of keep those things in mind. So. All right, so award-winning culture, the company was voted for top company culture by entrepreneur for two consecutive years. Um, Inc. ranked among the top 5,000 fastest growing companies for six consecutive, consecutive years. So it's something that's just keeps growing and keeps growing and we'll show you what it looked like on the next couple of slides for the growth. So, what is or who is Symmetry Financial Group? So Symmetry Financial was founded in October of 2009 by Brandon, Brian, Casey, and Meredith. Um, we provide those who partner with Symmetry the opportunity to earn both time and money. So that is the time and money freedom that we are all looking for. Share the wealth of opportunity that exists in this multi-trillion dollar industry. So yeah, and they are all amazing. All of those people, it's we were at convention or conference in Denver in August or yeah, it was in August. Mm -hmm. And it's just the coolest thing, like to see the people of the company, like get on the stage in jeans and their vans and t-shirts, like they're not dressed up. They're not like super, super professional. Like they're talking with everybody, like even a couple bad words came out and I'm like, yes, this is the kind of people like they're normal people. All right, next. They're, yeah, they're super down to earth. They're always joking, cutting up, um, giving each other a hard time, right? So it, All the time. It, it, it's not a stuffy corporate environment, that's mm -hmm. for sure. So um, one thing about Brandon and Casey is they actually were 
life or they were in the mortgage protection yeah. like industry. And that's when all of the mortgage crisis happened in 2008. And they were like, we need to do something like we have to do something. So they that they created this during a crisis of the mortgage industry. So for where it's been and what we've done in that amount of time is pretty, pretty awesome. So much right, more okay. amazing things to come. Mm -hmm. Next. All right. So symmetry is core values. Now, this is what I really, really, really take to heart that relationships matter and people come first. Like people come first, no matter what, like no matter what relentless pursuit of personal growth. So they are huge about personal development. They call it a leadership development company that just happens to sell insurance. That's kind of the way that they, they talk about it. Like it, they're always wanting us to just grow and grow and grow and grow and get better open and honest and productive communication. So keep, you know, keep in contact with each other, keep, keep, um, you know, just in communication. We do the right thing, even when no one is looking. So we don't want people that are gonna come in and, you know, not be honest about things. We don't want people that are gonna do the wrong things. And if they see anyone doing bad, they are gonna let them go immediately. They're not even gonna test it. They're not gonna talk about it. They're just gonna be like, you're gone. We work as a true team and strive to be a positive influence. So that was one thing in our team. It is so amazing. Like we have, there's so many people in this like group of, I don't know, there was a hundred people on our Zoom today, but there's different lines. Like we're all in different teams and every single person will help each other. It doesn't matter if they make a dime on you. They don't, it doesn't matter if there's, they have no connection with you at all. They are there to help us. And it's so so amazing. Now we act like owners because we own it. Being of service and doing good in the world. They do a lot, a lot of service projects. They do a lot of just different things like with um, different charities and things like that, which is really awesome. And then we have fun and get stuff done. That is one thing that is true. Have fun and get it done. So what we do. So let's go into the kind of the business. You want to go for a little bit? Sure. <laughs> so this is just some of the things that are available to us as agents that we're able to bring to the market, bring to our clients um, to help support them and their families is, of course, mortgage protection. It's all, it's all through life insurance. Um, we approach it as mortgage protection. So that's a lot of our, our lead generation is through protecting mortgages. Um, now, we do that to the nuts and bolts is through term, universal, and whole life insurance products. Um, there's a lot of final expense products available out there on the market that, that we can help people obtain. And then accidental death insurance is always a great product out there too. Um, if you guys who are more newly licensed or have been around for a while, um, accidental death is a great option for people, whether they qualify for tr traditional life insurance or maybe they don't. Um, it's a great affordable option either way. Um, on the health insurance side, um, disability um, critical illness, uh, Medicare supplement, long-term care, dental insurance, and there's a prescription program available now too. Um, so, you know, when you get into this industry and you're looking to help people, you have to meet people where they are. Some people are needing life insurance, some may not. Some people are more looking for these, what we call living benefits, right? What happens if you live, right? If you get hurt, if you get sick, right? And you, you, you may not pass, most of us won't. What happens then? How is that going to impact us financially? How can we put people in a better position to help recover from those or or not have to suffer financially as a result? Um, and then wealth building. You, you've all probably heard the radio commercials, you know, um, tax-free retirement, zero risk investment to your deposits, things like that. Well, they're probably talking about annuities, IULs, things like that. So debt-free life is a great concept. You can be your own bank. Um, build up your your cash value and your policies to be able to borrow from yourself. You don't have to go beg a bank to lend your money. Um, annuities help with retirement, IULs, um, your index universal life policies, where you'll you'll be guaranteed some growth, almost almost guaranteed um, growth, but you'll never go negative on your on your investment. Um, mortgage acceleration, smart start, 
right? So all things to help you build your wealth, set up your retirement, um, re remove your debt, and all good stuff that we can help people, you know, in in the life insurance industry. Mm -hmm. This is a snapshot of some of the carriers we work with. We have access to over eighty carriers. Um, these are some of the primary ones who we work with, do a lot of business with. Um, you know, you'll see this in, at other carrier options too. Um, they're called IMOs, right? insurance marketing organizations. Um, but we have individual partnerships with a lot of these carriers, um, tailored products specifically available just for symmetry. Um, we have quick underwriting, no, under, uh, no medical exam requirements, things like that. So we have a lot of product availability at our fingertips that allows us to help our customers, our clients get the best products that meets their needs at the most affordable options for them as well. So you'll see, you know, other carriers, you may be with a captive agent, right? They may only have access to the one carrier. They're subject to that one carrier's underwriting, that one carrier's pricing, that one carrier's product availability. Here we have so many options available to help our clients. They, it's a little overwhelming at times, but it's a great thing to have because we can meet the customers where they are and get them the needs that they're looking for. Yep. This we've talked about, right? Is there a need for insurance? Well, absolutely, right? There's 131 plus million households in the United States. Um, seven and 10 of those rely on two incomes, right? We're, we're a two income economy. Um, so what happens with one of those, if one of those incomes were lost for whatever reason, right? How can you be there to help these people have that ease of mind should something unfortunate happen within that household. Um, foreclosures, right? It's not because they lost a the job a lot of the time, right? It's because of a death or disability, right? So we have to suffer financially, right? If we're dealing with medical issues, maybe we can no longer work, things like that. Foreclosures initially resulted from a death or disability. 25% uh, of us Americans have nothing saved for retirement. Right, so we can help with all, all of those individually. You know, cost average eight thousand bucks. I heard it's actually twelve thousand now. Is what somebody posted the other day. So, yeah, it just keeps going up and up. If you've noticed, everything keeps going up. So, yep. <laughs> funerals yep. are no exception. Yep. As we get into retirement age, right, the far majority of of those individuals are reliant on Social Security for their income. Mm -hmm. Right. So, is Social Security going to be enough for you? I've been told my whole life not to count on it, right? So again, we have options to help put people in better positions, whether whether they're early in, in their careers and their adult lives and set them up for maybe an earlier, more successful retirement. Or if you're near that retirement age, what can we do with what you do have? Help that money grow and be most productive for you and, and help you live the lifestyle that you want in retirement. Um, why now, right? What's going on? What's changed recently in all of our lives? COVID-19 application activity for life insurance in the United States is up nearly 8% year over year in 2023 among people under the age of 44, right? And that's a great thing, right? I didn't really think about life insurance, you know, at a younger age, but I'm seeing more and more younger people actively seeking out and looking for life insurance options. And that's great because the younger you can get it, the more you're going to qualify for it when you're healthy and young at a low cost especially these, these, these whole life policies, these IUL policies, it's, it's great to get into those when you're younger. That way those we even have a carrier that goes up to 40 years. So there's 40 year term. Yeah. So that's a cool one too. So this is kind of how our company has grown over the last, since 2009 to now. So 2023, they said, I'm not exactly sure what they said about 2023, but we will know a little bit more. I think this was taken before the end of the year or something, but we had over 15.3 billion in production in 2022. And symmetry snapshot was 1.05 billion in total premium and 82 billion in total face amount. That's a ton of money, a ton of money for people that are not going to have to do a GoFundMe. They're not going to have to struggle when their loved one passes away and lose their homes and all of those things. So that's why I feel like it's so important is to make sure 
that your family doesn't have to leave their home if you pass away or they pass away or whatever. So such a huge importance and they're expecting. So we actually at this conference that we were at in um, August, there's a partnership that we're actually partnered with one of our insurance carriers, F and G, and they invested a ton of money and they're expecting us to go from this 222 million in 2023 to a $10 billion company within five years. Like that's the projection of what this company is. And that is what you have a opportunity to be a part of. And we'll, we'll go over some of the things that they've added. That is what is very attractive to the company or to people that are looking. And we'll go over some more things in just a second. So leads, we we're talking about leads. <laughs> we're going to go over that because leads are a big, big thing. And it's, they're super important you have so many ways to generate leads if you want to generate them yourself, which I do a lot of that myself because I've been on social media for a long time. I've always had some kind of side gig for the last 10 or 10 or 15 years. And so I've always put myself on social media as selling something, right? So I do a lot of my business on social media. Jeff, however, does not. So he doesn't love social media. He doesn't love posting. He's like, every once in a while, I'm like, we have to take a selfie. And he's like, oh God. I'm like, come on, get over here. Like, it's just not his thing. So he works the leads that our company has. So the Symmetry has invested over $46 million. And that was in 2022. I'm sure we're going to get updated numbers probably this month because it they wanted to wait till the end of the quarter and everything happened, but 46 million in 2022 into lead generation techniques, go back, um, with the most effective and affordable leads in the industry. So we have a subsidized lead program over 700 families had been protected at that point. Um, but some of the ways that they do the leads, they do digital, digital leads, like where they're on TikTok, Facebook, Instagram, and people click on an ad and ask for information. So those are digital leads that you get as soon as somebody clicks on it, pretty much. They have mail-in leads, like where somebody had a mortgage and we mail out um, you know, a little form that says, hey, you want mortgage protection? Then they mail it back. Somebody called in, then they, we get those leads from that. And they range in prices. There's so many different prices, but that's something that you're going to want to do if you're starting your own business and you don't have your own lead generation source, like people you know or whatever, this is great. There are people that are looking, they're in-house leads. They come specific to from Symmetry. They're not like outsourced. They're not some other company that's selling them to us. They are asked for information from Symmetry specifically, which is amazing. So it's no cold calling. If some of them will act like they didn't remember doing it. And that's just part of the game. It's just something that we deal with. And so when you're calling them, they're like, oh, I don't remember doing that. I didn't do that. And you're like, but your name and you're signed it and everything, but that's just part of the game and that's part of sales. So yeah. Yeah. Just... And with symmetry, they'll, they'll tell us that they do not make money on the leads that they, that we do purchase. So when they say they subsidize the lead program, they really do. They make it where they're quality leads and they're very affordable at all kinds of ranges. So you can buy, you know, leads that are the digital leads. They're brand new. They're actively seeking. They come really quick. You know, those are going to be your more expensive leads. Um, but again, they have the quicker turnaround time. And they keep all the stats they for keep us. Stats, like they'll say um, one out of four calls are going to yield an appointment. One out of 10 calls, like depending on how inexpensive or how expensive the leads are, lead yeah. types, there's different things that they go by to make sure that you know, like what you're going to get. If you buy the yeah. cheapest lead, you're going to make more calls, but it also gives you practice. So you're, that's what we always recommend people starting at like the cheapest ones, just get in the routine of calling and making the calls and talking to people. And then you can move into the more, yeah. more like quick, most. There's, like, been, there's so many people who have a ton of success with some of the older leads. So, you know, one person who, who runs our, our CRM platform, they'll tell you that, you know, that's because the first, the people who they spoke with earlier, just, didn't maybe. say the right things. They didn't administer it the right way, or maybe the customer just wasn't ready at the time. But whatever the case is, there's all kinds of leads, lead options out there, various costs, some that are super affordable, some that are more expensive if you have the budget for it. But like Charmaine said, if, if you're brand new, 
sometimes it's better to get some of those older, more cost-effective leads or more affordable leads and just get out there and get used to having the conversations. And then as you start getting and some success- And you, you want to get of, out and like get your first sale. You know, we, they, we do have yeah. scripts, absolutely. Yes, and you yes. can, you know, you use that just in the beginning. Cause then after, like, after you've made a few calls, you just make conversation. Like I can't stand scripts just because I feel like a robot and I'd rather just be able to be myself and talk to somebody. So you definitely make them your own after a while. And you just kind of get the gist of what you need to say to make sure that you get in the point across of what you're calling for. So we do have the scripts and that is something that we can get for you too. Go ahead. Next. All right. So this is just like Agent Roadmap to Success, proprietary sales enablement system, marketing and recruiting support, proprietary CRM and lead management. There is training, definitely lots of training. Yeah. Um, ongoing support, best in class, one-to-one -one co group coaching from anyone within our agency, like anyone's willing to help. Step-by-step -step learning and development tools and systems, weekly training calls, and amazing local, regional, national training events. The trainings are insane. There's so much training that if you were to sit and go through all the training, you will go nuts. Like you actually would go nuts. And there's just too much information. So what they, what we recommend, like when you're coming in, you get the basics. You you know watch a few of the training videos. You go through some things, but then you just start get into it, you know, get in, get in the trenches, start making the calls. And you kind of learn things like that you need to like, if there's something that comes up in a call, you can then go to the training and say, okay, I need to, I need to research this. I need to watch this. But they say, get in, get the trenches, start making, you know, get a deposit in your bank account. The faster you get a deposit, the easier it's going to be to, to believe in what you're doing. Yep. Yeah. So it's a combination of, of learning, through some more formal training, some some computer training, as well as a lot of on the job training at the same time. The the phrase you'll hear a lot with symmetry is M A C C massive action, constant correction. So, getting out there, getting dirty, getting your hands dirty, um, doing the work, and then you know speaking to your upline. You know what went well. What would you like to have seen done better or differently? There was an example on our call this morning where he was doing an application. He accidentally put that it was a male instead of a female, and like got to the application locked and then had to go back and recorrect everything. And so he's like, just being vulnerable saying I messed up and we fixed it. Like, that's all we fixed it. We'll go, we can go over that where we'll get to, there's different options. So we'll go over all of that. Mm -hmm. um, okay. So these are some things that we have here. So HQ is like our main hub for everything, like where we find trainings, where we find um, all the everything. And then Summit is part is what our training system is called. And that is in HQ. Then we have the Quility Leads Marketplace. So that's where we would go in and buy our leads, whatever leads we're looking for. Um, we have digital insurance products. So ones that they we, we submit online, they get a text message, like everything is digital signed. All the documents are signed electronically. It's approved immediately. Like there's nothing that has to go through. It's just immediate. And then we have Quility Navigator, which is our, like a quoting platform. And I'll, I'll kind of go over what, all, how all that looks like, what all that looks like. And then we have Quality Switchboard, which is our CRM. And eventually what's happening very shortly is the navigator and switchboard are going to be combined into one. So all of our leads will be in a quoting platform. All of the engagement that we've had with those with those um, clients will all be there. All their quotes will be saved. It'll all be in one. And so that's coming. And that's part of the big thing that they're talking about is it's going to make it easier for us as agents to get our clients what they need faster. Like you put in their basic information, it's gonna give you like, you know, you put in their height, their weight, their, all their things, like all their medical ailments, and it'll tell you like, okay, you're gonna go with, it. this is the best option or the cheapest option, the best option you have, quote there first. Like best price, best approval, like the best thing, like chance for them to get approved. It'll give you all of that right up front. So all of these two will be combined very shortly. And that's going to be awesome because it's going to save you time 
and all of the things. So it's gonna um, make it all in on one one easy to locate spot. So yeah, the navigator is great because like Charmaine was saying, you you plug in your client information, you plug in their medical history, their medical um, background, and it's gonna tell you, you know, whether they qualify or who, which carriers they may qualify for and what the cost of those policies are, um, depending on what coverage you selected or policy type you select. So that one thing that's not on here is we have um there's an agent, I'm not even sure what team he's on or what but he has created a whole website of like cheat sheets like medical um your height weight charts like if you have a, somebody that's this tall this weight will they qualify for these companies um the they have a medical lists, condition what what prescriptions they might have and whether it's going to kick them out so he has created the most amazing thing and you can just like we literally will just go in there and like holy cow, like there's so much information. I don't have to go into every carrier to see if they would qualify. Like it has so much there. So it kind of tells you, don't try that company. Don't try that company and go from there. All right. So how we do at the Quility U um, and Summit. So these are your tra our training programs. Ongoing ed education and leadership development with our learning management system divine specifically for the sales industry. Summit exists to accelerate your business results by proving what you need to learn when you need to learn it. So that's kind of where I was saying, like, we don't need to go over all of that before we get on the phone, because we might not even get to some of that stuff. Like some of it's super high level, teaching you like advanced markets and teaching you all of these things that you might not be ready for yet, which in the beginning, let's be real, none of us are ready for that kind of stuff. So it just kind of, there's no reason to go into the trainings if we're not there yet, you know? So that's kind yeah. of where yeah. and people are coming into symmetry from all kinds of backgrounds. Some are brand new to the insurance industry. You know, some are moving from PNC to life insurance like Charmaine and I. Um, some people have been in the industry for a long time and just wanted a new home and come to symmetry. So the training is there for you, like Charmaine said, when you need it at various stages. There's check-in points where, where it'll encourage you to check in with your mentor, things like that. So it, it's great. It's, it's designed to help you learn what you need to learn and be successful while, while we're working a lot. Yep. Super good. So here's our switchboard. So this is what the CRM looks like. Um, it kind of gives you, well, you put all, all your leads go in there. Um, it's a trimodal communication platform. So you can call from there. You can text, you can receive texts. Um, you were, there's even ways to like, if you were building an agency, like there's recruiting tools in there. Um, and they all, like all of these things are basically one, like you have, you know, Wix, but it's all going to be built into this one switchboard. So we won't need all those extra websites or extra things that we have to, you know, put our business even, cards or things yeah, like even that. Even more recently too, they introduced a social media option too. So you can build social media posts in here I mean, you can integrate it to, um, your email, um, you can buy your own 800 number on here um, or, and or a local number. So you can buy multiple phone numbers in here, um, integrate it to your email. Um, you can create your own business landing page on here. So it really is pretty amazing, user-friendly. Um, you can call your clients directly from here. Um, and if they happen not to answer, if they prefer to text, you can text from here. Um, you can um, send emails from Switchboard. So that's what they mean by trimodal is you can communicate with your clients in whichever way they're most comfortable communicating. And no, you will not need all three screens. That's right. Nope. You won't need all three screens. <laughs> so cool. Next. So Quility Navigator. This is the, the site that I love so much. And when I first started, this wasn't available. So it's only been in the last year that this has been implemented implemented and they're adding new carriers every day so at first it was just the two carriers that have specific products for us and now they're adding more because each of these carriers are now starting to add products that are built specifically for symmetry where unless one of our symmetry agents is writing it they couldn't go to mutual of omaha and get it from somebody else it would have to be a symmetry agent that's writing them so it's just you go in like i said you put their information you click to quote and it would pull up on this, like this bottom here, here are the options that you have. And some of them you can have from 
quoting to issuing in 10 minutes or less. Like there are, we have many instant decisions where if they're healthy and they're young and they don't have a lot of medical issues, boom, it's going to prove them right away. They have an electronically signed, like you just send them a text message. They select the documents, they sign it right there. Super, super easy for them and super easy for us. So we're not having to do, like I said, go from SBLI to Mutual of Omaha to quote them on each one. It kind of gives you what they would qualify for based sign. on their health. Yeah. What they qualify for based on their height, weight, health, all the things. And it'll tell you like right there, if it doesn't list them, they wouldn't be approved at that company most likely. So you don't even check there. So it's awesome. I love it. Love, love, love that, that site. Super useful. Mm -hmm. And then here's our, um, just the leads marketplace. It's the industry's number one leads platform delivers a diverse mix of high intent compliant and they are compliant. That is one thing we all have to had to do is sign all these things, making sure that we're not getting leads from like places that are not symmetry, because if you are, they can't guarantee that it's a compliant lead. These we know they requested, it came directly to us. It's not like you're cold calling anybody because they at some point either called in, clicked on something on a website, um, mailed something in. It There are people that have tried you calling us. I almost said USA. I almost mm -hmm. said they called I'll USA. That. <laughs> That's been a long time. And then there's 16 lead types plus 1.2 million bonus leads available. Um, we're usually getting about 15,000 leads every week, depending. Um the subsidized leads program, again, provides options for every budget. So we always say when you're starting, you're going to want to have a little bit of money like that you're, you know, using to buy leads unless you have, you know, something out there where you have your own lead generation source, like you have a lot of friends, you have a big presence on social media. Um, A little bit, I would say in the beginning for leads, I would say at least... 50 to 100 to call the super cheap, cheap leads. Um, if you're wanting a more expensive one, it's going to get up there. It just depends on what you're looking for and what, yeah. what your income is, what your, you know, what you want to make. And we'll kind of go over kind of the, um, the money yeah. in aspect yeah, right now. You have, you have options, Tiffany, like there's, there's, we can go in and buy leads um, at very co various costs. So the, the B leads or the bonus leads, right. Are, <laughs> They're, they're staggered by how old they are. So, and in, in we as agents, we're going to track our success. So if, if a customer flat out says, no, I don't want to have anything to do with you guys, then they'll take them out of the lead pool. Um, or if they're successful in writing a policy, they'll, they'll mark it. That way we're not giving uh, each other, you know, bad, bad leads. We're not leaving bad leads out there. But as, as leads age, so if somebody comes in and buys the more expensive, the fresher leads, then they're going to pay a higher premium for it. Um, if if there's no conversion or no update to the status on that on that client, that potential client, then those leads move down into the bonus lead structure, and they'll continue down the timeline. And the older they get, then the least expensive they become. So it, it just depends out depends on on how you want to structure it. Um, now, what one thing with the symmetry leads, um, you can still use your warm market, your friends and family. That's fine. Um, there's nothing wrong with that at all. Um, the the thing is, with with the leaders at Symmetry will tell you is if if you're buying leads, there's always a risk there because there are some predatory people out there who try to trap us into making calls or continuing communication when they ask us not to. Um, Symmetry, if if we get the lead through the Symmetry platform, Symmetry is going to take on that that risk, that potential liability should something arise um, out of that. So, so that's what they mean by they're compliant leads. They're not going to put us at risk if someone tries to sue us for contacting them uh, when it was this person who requested for us to contact them in the first place. Um, do we need to be licensed in a minimum, minimum amount of states? No, there is no minimum requirement at all. So, no, and what we yeah. kind of think about, like, or what we did, because we're in Arizona, so we're... Pacific time, most like it's Pacific or mountain time. But if you want to like work at different hours, like if you're in the East coast and you want to work at night late, you would probably want to get maybe a West coast state that you could 
buy leads from and call that way. Um, so it's up to you. It's totally up to you. We ended up doing um, just we went in and bought a bunch of ones that were inexpensive just because some of them can get up to like $300. Like some of the licensing can get super expensive, but you can. So you you can get licensed in whatever states you want. Like yep. you can get a non-resident in any other state that, you know, you have your resident state that you're licensed in, but you can get as many non-residents as you'd like. And it's totally up to you. There's there's leads available in every state. So you don't have to. It's just depending on when, if you want to work like later or earlier, depending on where you live. Like if you have kids that go to bed early and you want to work after they go to bed, then you might want to work Pacific coasters. If you want to get up early and you live on the West Coast, you might want to get some East Coast states. So it's up to you. Okay, next. So leadership development, that's, this is the thing that we talked about, like leadership is the biggest thing that they talk about here is they want you to continue to grow, continue to get better, continue to, you know, be able to help people in whatever aspect that is. Um, so they have, these are different training programs of key leader Academy, agency owner Academy ripple model is just a whole amazing thing that you will see when you get in the company or you see some things that they talk about and then the quality you is just the basic right. training system that we have here yep. all right so we're going to go into the business model this will talk about money so we're going to go into money yep. you can talk about this oh i can awesome. yeah so it. so bottom line you know when the leaders of symmetry when they start introducing this slide they'll tell us that you know, the majority of people, majority of people in the United States are on the left side of this chart, and we want to get all of us onto the right side of the chart, right? So if you're an employee in the top left, you have a job, right? Um, you have no leverage. Um, that's where 5% of the wealth in the country resides is, as employees, right? And the amount of active time determines what your income level would be. And then below that, if you're self-employed, you own the job, right? You're, you're still probably your own boss, but you own the job. Um, you have no leverage. It's 95% of, of the population. Um, the amount of active work still determines your income, right? So um, both of those as an employee or self-employed, time equals money. Yep. Now, they talk about like the self-employed self self -employed one, like if you owned a Subway, like if you owned a Subway restaurant, you own the franchise, you paid a bunch of money to get it, you own it, but you have to be there to make sure it keeps running. You have So that's kind of where they talk about like, Owning something like that would be that. Yep. And as a business owner, right, top right, so you own the system. Think of Melissa, right? Why are we all sitting here right now is because Melissa, she owns a system that we all get to partake in. I mean, your income doesn't depend on active work, right? People work with you. People seek you out for your advice, your solutions that you're able to provide, right? And this is where 95% of the wealth in the United States resides is in this business owner category. And then investors, right? You know, let your money make money for you. That's the bottom right. Um, and Sonia has a question in the chat. If you're self-employed, how many hours do you recommend working a week? That's see, that's the thing. That all depends on you. The and, and when you're earlier on starting out, the expectation is that you're going to be working a lot. Um, you get out of it what you put into it. So you're going to have to spend time making calls. You're going to have to spend time doing the underwriting, writing the contracts. Um, you know, working with underwriters to get policies issued moving forward. So it's going to, it's going to, it takes a lot to, you know, to get Depends what you ground, want to so to speak. Yeah. We'll so show you, you can, income like on part-time, whether you are part-time or full-time, we'll show that in the next couple slides. Yep. That is coming up. So I'll go over some of this. Yes, go ahead. Thank you. Okay. So how do we get paid? Okay. That's the biggest thing is how we get paid. So we have part-time and full-time. Here at Symmetry, we start at an 80% contract rate, and it goes up to 130% commission levels. So we have also the best-in-class bonus programs that a lot of companies don't even have bonuses anymore just because of whatever. I've heard a lot of them been taking them away. But there's a pro track where if you were only going to do, you didn't want to do build a business, you just wanted to write policies, you just want to do it all on your own, that would be that side. So you would go up to 85% contract at 2,500, go up to 5,000, you know, the, all of that goes up. And then if you want to, if it's, if you want to go the owner route, 
you know, you build a team, you do some other things like that. So there's just different ways to do it. But we'll go over on the next one. That, that one is just kind of, we'll get to that when you're in it. Go to the next one. This is the cool one. So this is, we have a program called Slingshot. So basically, when you're a new agent, you start at 80%. If in your for in one month, you hit $5,000 in annual premium. So the amount of policy you write is 5,000 in that one month, you automatically move up to 85%. If it's 7,500, you go to 90. If it's 12,500, you go up to 95. And then you, if you hit those in that month, you get 10% bonus on top of that as well. So that cash bonus on the right, the, it has a limit of 10,000. So if you wrote a hundred thousand in premium, like you would get 10%. So that's 10,000. We have people that have done that multiple times. It's nuts. Like they have a hundred thousand in a month. It's nuts. And then if you do it a little slower, which is fine. If you do it in two months, 2,500 in two months, you go to 85%. 5,000 for two months in a row, you go to 90%. 10,000 in two months, you go to 95. If you do it in the two month, it doesn't have that cash bonus. So if you can do it in one month, the faster you go, where can you go that you can promote 15% in three months? Right. Yeah. And going back to the corporate structure, right? There's a job opening comes up. Maybe there's two, three, four spots available. And you have 300 people apply for that, that limited to number of promotions. You don't have to worry about that here, right? Our promotions, our raises are de determined based on our productivity. What individual do. productivity, what you do, right? So you don't, you don't have to worry about competing with other people. And that's the, one of the most beautiful things about working here is, you know, in addition to the culture of everybody supporting each other, we're not in competition with each other at the same time. Like, there's, there's some friendly competitions out there, right? But everybody cheers each other on no matter what the case is. Yep. That's awesome. Love it. Love it. Yep. Okay. So now I'm going to go over. This is part-time, okay? This is the fun stuff. This is what most people start part-time. Most people come in, they still have a job. They, you know, have, a, you know, kids and different duties they have to do. So most people do come in starting part-time just to get their feet in the door and make some money. So we're saying like probably 15 to 20 hours a week, um, six place policies per month is what's average if you are to do 15 to 20 hours a week and that's starting at 80 percent contract level 12 or 12,000 1200 is the average policy cost like premium so the average policy costs 1200 dollars, and the carriers pay out front 75 percent of what you make so if you're at an 80 percent commission so if you had six policies and they were each 1200 bucks that's $7,200, okay? Times your 80% commission, 5760. They pay you out 75% right away, okay? 12 months, your annual amount would be 51,000 that's paid up front. But then as you go to the end of the year, so once you get to the ninth month of each policy, so they, the reason they do the 75% not paying you all of it up front is if a policy cancels, they, you know, do the non-payment or they just cancel their policy. If they paid you all of that money up front, then you're going to have a lot more money to pay back if it does get canceled. So that's why they, it's kind of to help us, but also they give us part of the money up front. So then at the ninth month of the policy being issued chargebacks, yep. And it happens. Chargebacks do happen. That's one mm -hmm. thing that you deal with in this industry. But total compensation, if you're writing six policies a month, about 70,000 part-time, part-time. And 1,200 is, there's a lot more expensive policies out there. Like 1,200 is just average. And if you're doing this consistently, you're gonna be moving up from the 80% commission right away anyway. So it's gonna be more than that. Now next, full-time, what does full-time look like? 35 to 40 hours per week. And that's just depending on what you're doing. Like if you're building and you want to build an agency, then it might be more than that. If you're just working and you're doing, you know, your own policies, then it, it will be probably that. But they say about that, if you're there, you're probably about 15 to 20 sales per month. And you're probably about a 95% contract level already if you're doing that consistently. So 75% carrier. So here's what it looks like. 18,000 a month. 
in sales. 95% commission is 17,100. Advanced 75% times 12, about 153,000 of what you got up front. Then towards the end of the, the you know the year you would get the other 25 percent and your total first year compensation would be about 205,000. and this is just if you're doing policies yourself okay this is not if you are like someone said do you have to recruit you don't have to but again if you're looking for something that's passive it grows it's residual you're going to want to go that route and build an agency but that's totally your up to you. You don't have to, you don't have to do that to promote. You don't have to do any of that. It's just, if you want to build and have like residual income, because if you're only writing policies, if you're not writing them, you go on vacation for a week, your income stops. So that's kind of where it is. That's why you want to build something. Yeah. And there's, there's plenty of people who start off just writing their own policies and then yeah. they transition into building. Later. Yeah. Yep. Go ahead. Um, and Maria has a question. Um, Getting a business coach, that's entirely up to you. Some people do that. Um, there's a ton of support just within Symmetry itself um, who you can tap into. Um, so you'll have a lot of support who can help coach you. Your upline, certainly, that's kind of their responsibility is to help you, um, you know, get to the next level, get productive, get efficient, those kinds of things. But there's nothing wrong if you, if you seek outside help in terms yeah. of a business coach. There's nothing wrong with that at all. Melissa has that magic money thing, and I'm like... I need to be in there because I love her vision on money. It's just, it's so good. What you showed us was not recruiting. That is specific to yourself. Yeah. That's just, if you were writing policies and you were writing your own 15 to 20 policies a week or a, a month, if you were full-time, that's just without recruiting. That's just yourself. We'll go over the recruiting part next. Yeah. Yeah. And on the commission side, you get the larger commission on at the first issue, the first year premium. And there's a small, smaller residual um, as the policies renew from year to year. On some, on, on term, some. Yeah. term, there's not, not residuals again. Yeah. Okay. So we have an exclusive agency ownership program, which is a true, true ownership. Okay. So Symmetry provides agents with everything we need to build our own business through true contractual ownership. Okay. You have the ability to own to earn both time and money with the system driven income and you can pass the business on to somebody else you could sell it to somebody you could will it to somebody if you pass away somebody can take it over it it continues forever there are several people in the company who had passed away and their legacy and their business is still growing and people are still in there, like their families are living an amazing life because they chose to build an agency and own their own agency. Yep. Unlike some other places where you may go and, and be an insurance agent, maybe a captive agent, when when your time comes and you pass on, that that carrier is going to then retain ownership of that agency and then sell it off to somebody else. So here at Symmetry, you have the option to create your own business, own it, contract it through through Quality, through Symmetry, and then be able to pass it on to your heirs and, and not have to worry about that income stopping when, when your time comes. Yeah, there was an example of somebody that is in our company and his one of his best friends is a state farm agent and he's like 76 or 78 or something right now. And he's like, he's ready to retire or when he dies, it goes back to state farm and then they sell it to somebody else at a pretty good money. Like, I think there's a lot of companies who do that I see for America. Yeah. Um, yeah, <laughs> I don't want to say, I, I'm not going to talk bad about any company. So, but you're free to, <laughs> yeah, your heirs. Okay. So that is one thing you're, whoever is taking over the business would have to get licensed to receive the, the residuals because you have, you, we can't take a residual from most States. Like if somebody's licensed and we have somebody like, I'll get an email that say, say, I have to be licensed in that state in order to make um, money on that. So yeah, I'm going to go over this real quick. Let me go over this slide real fast because it's a big one. Okay, so building your own agency. This is kind of where the residuals come from, okay? As an agency builder, you make commissions every time you help an agent make a sale. So I bring Jeff in to my business. He sells a policy. If I was at 105% contract rate, and he was at 80, I would make 25% on 
of what he sold. So if he was there and I was at 105%, he sells a $1,200 policy, he makes whatever it, you know his 80% is. And the difference between that and my 105% contract, I would make. So that's where your residuals come in. They call it a spread. It's a difference between your contract level and your agent's contract level. And so there's different rates. And we want people to promote, even though, so here's the thing, even though, like some companies will want people to stay low so that they keep getting that spread. Here at Symmetry, they, we want people to move up because when we help people, there's different bonus structures that we make money on. So even if we aren't making the, as big of a spread, there's other things that they have in place to where we aren't being selfish to help people increase their income, which I love because I've had, I've seen other companies where they want you to stay and they don't help and it's just, it's crazy. So you don't want that. You want people that want you to grow and want you to succeed. For sure. All right. So here's some agent perks. So there's some things here that we think are cool. Um, the In Symmetry, you get you can have the first free um, year of life insurance for all Symmetry agents. There's two companies that they contract from, with to write your own policy where you can get it for free. They pay for it the first year and it's up to $500,000 and up to a 30 year term. So it'll you can get into that when you get there. We actually ended up just doing our own policies and not doing the free one, which I don't know why, but that was kind of silly. And then we do have health policies. So there are policies that you can get health wise, like health insurance, they're, they're not, um, I don't want to like, they're not like one you're going to get from an employer. They're more like the in case type of policies. I think we've kind of noticed, like it'll cover the main things, but it's not like for, for your everyday type of, um, yeah. coverage. There's, there are different options. So it's just, it's different to look at. There are options available. It's just, you have to be, you know, make sure it's what you want. Next. This is the coolest thing. So the carriers, so each carrier within the company, they will design a incentive trip for them, like their carrier, but it's for symmetry. So all of these seven right here are carriers, carrier trips for this year. Um, and the Las Vegas one, you guys, I'm going to have to show you, and I hope these videos play. But one of our friends, she has only been in the company for four, it'll be four years in May. She already has an $8 million a year agency. She has earned every trip under the sun and she would, she just won the Las Vegas one and they were at the Super Bowl yesterday. They had a whole all-inclusive Super Bowl and it was with Mutual of Omaha. They took them, they paid for their flights, they paid for their rooms, all their food, all the activities, the seats to the game, everything. And it was like, Watching this on her stories yesterday, I'm like, I want that. Like, that's what I want. Like, that's my goal next. But most of the people that are going on these had earned them from last year. So they're now coming up on their trips. But all these are amazing trips. The one that is really cool next, there's one coming up in, I don't see it on here. The Costa Rica one, is that the one it is? There's one that's really yeah, cool. They, top left. It, yeah, that one they say is the most amazing resort ever. Like, Everyone that's been there is like, it's the best resort they've ever been to. So those are all available. Anyone can earn them. They give them to people that are producing and people that are building. Like they have two different rows of who gets those trips. And there's usually at least 25 people at least with their plus ones for each carrier. So, okay, next. I hope these play. Let me see if, if I click on them, if they'll I, play. I think I found the setting. So let's try it. Let's Okay, so we're going to just play a couple of testimonies, and these are all people that are our friends that are in the business, and they've all been in the business longer than us. Um, Jordan, our first one, she's been with the company about seven years. She has a $1.7 million agency, and she runs it with her business with her husband, and they're, I think, 28 years old or something amazing. So, see if it works. My name is Jordan Gillum. I am before going to the gym, so I apologize uh, for my workout attire, um, but I live in Queen Creek, Arizona, uh, and I am in business with my husband with Symmetry. We own the Gillum Agency, and we've been doing this for, shoot, it's over seven years now, um, and how Symmetry has changed my life, 
every way, literally in every way. Uh, I mean, I have built an incredible relationship with my husband. I, through, through hiring and, and finding people for our agency, we have found a lot of like-minded people that we surround ourselves with that have similar goals as far as ownership of business and schedule and limitless income, uh, but not at the expense not at the expense of others. Um, let's see what else. Uh, we live where we want. Uh, we're from East Tennessee and we were dying to get out of there. <laughs> um, I mean, we can make as much income wherever we want, as much as we want. And yes, it is difficult. I don't want to express that it's not difficult, but everything worth having is difficult. So this is just the kind of difficult that we choose, which required a lot of personal development, um, self-discipline, um, picking ourselves up, stick to itness, or whatever the phrase is. And you know, I don't have a college degree. Um, I went to school for business, but now I own a business uh, because of what Symmetry has to offer. I can sleep well at night because the services I provide only help people. Uh, filing death, claim, death claims as much as they may be bittersweet. Um, you get to actually service and help the family make sure that they don't lose their homes or they can pay for funerals or they've left a huge legacy behind for their kids that maybe they didn't even know about. Uh, but basically, we just get to help people with the two hardest things to talk about, which is death and money. Um, but we get to help them in the best way possible is just making that whole process easier. So I'm grateful for what we do. I know that it's not for everyone because you do have to be an entrepreneur. You do have to be a self-starter and you do have to work when you don't feel like it, which I feel like we all do anyways when we work for someone else. So I just chose to work for myself. But yeah, She's amazing. We got to listen to her um, juice. Like she dialed on our team call like two weeks ago, I think. But we got to listen to her call like do calls but she's been here for seven years so you hear like the just how much you learn in that much time like she was so good and she's I think that week she sold I think her um productivity was about 15,000 so in one week she made over 15,000 in income just from writing policies and we got to listen to her do several of them so now, the next one is Sarah Reineke. She's a friend of ours also. She's been with the company. Her and Jamie actually are best friends. They came from, like, they did network marketing together. And they, during COVID, they wanted something different, something bigger, and something more impactful. And they came and chose insurance. So Sarah's amazing. And we're going to listen to her first. She was a teacher. I was a teacher for 16 years. I taught third grade for 13 years and three years of junior high. In teaching, I loved the impact. I loved the relationships, but I did not love the income. Did not love that I was paid the same as the guy across the hall, no matter how hard I worked. And I worked really hard. I was there early, I stayed late, and that didn't affect my salary at all. So honestly, I didn't need a mansion on a hill, but what I did need was to pay for braces, pay for prom dresses. Having the income freedom on the other side of working really hard, getting paid for how hard I work, is something that I love about what I do now. I always say no one put insurance sales on their career poster in third grade. The insurance sales world has been so good to me because I can make impacts, I have a lot of great relationships, and I can also make great income. Growing up in small town America, I had no idea that I could be in insurance sales like I am now. It was a teacher, you wanna be a nurse, you wanna be a police officer, a dental hygienist. The insurance industry is big. It's a trillion dollar industry. Anyone can win here with a little hard work and a lot of intentionality. You know, as a teacher, I remember looking at that pile of bills thinking, man, I'm working really hard, but I have to decide which bill I wanna pay today and which bill I wanna wait until tomorrow. And I know that feeling of that week before payday when we're not going to the grocery store, we're not going out to eat, kids, we're staying at home and eating leftovers until we get that next payday. If you're a teacher, you understand that making an impact is important. And what's great in the insurance industry, we can make impacts and an incredible income. As a teacher, I had to work three part-time jobs along with my full-time job, and my husband had a part-time job as well just to make ends meet and pay the bills. And I realized I had zero control over the income that my family needed. That's when I found the insurance industry, which is where I can have big impacts still on families, I can build great relationships, but I can make the income that my family deserves. As a teacher, I knew if I stayed for 30 years, I would have that retirement income that would continue the rest of my life. 
What scared me about that, I still wouldn't be able to pay for vacations. I still wouldn't be able to spoil my grandkids someday and I wanted more. You've been in the teaching field maybe 10 years, 12 years, 15 years. It's a long time. Congratulations. You gave back. I have no regrets at the time that I spent teaching kids, but it's not too late for you. You can pivot. I didn't know anything about sales or marketing or how to run a business. I found an opportunity that gave me all the tools to run a profitable business. A whole nother career could be ahead of you and you can make huge impacts and huge income. Fill out the form below and attach your resume to apply. And if you're a good fit, we're gonna schedule a one-on-one -on -one appointment with you and we can share a little bit more about what we do and why we love it. Yes, she's amazing. And it's not the yes. Mm -hmm. Yep. So you do own your own business. You own your book of business. Once you when once it's in your agency, it's yours. All right, and we're play Jamie real quick. She's a little shorter, but she is the one that went to the Super Bowl yesterday. <laughs> she um is amazing, and she is somebody that I feel like I relate so much to because she's very present on social media. She's very. Um, she shares her life. She's not a secret insurance agent. She shares what she does and she is not afraid to show it. So I am learning so much just by watching her and doing some of the things that she does. So she's been we'll, how long? They've both been in, they, it will be four years in May. Um, Sarah is actually Jamie's sponsor or okay. partner or whatever. And she had a $9 million agency and Jamie had an $8 million agency in 2023. Crazy. As a nurse, I worked 12 hour shifts, nights, weekends, holidays. The harder you work as a nurse doesn't mean that you're making any more money. I felt overworked and underpaid. I did eight years as a permanent night nurse to make an extra $2 an hour. I decided to switch careers when I was missing out a lot on my kids' lives. I missed feeling like a human during the day because I had to sleep after my night shift and I needed to do something different. I never in a million years imagined myself in the insurance industry. When I first heard about insurance, my initial reaction was absolutely not. But since leaving my nursing career, I make more in a month working in insurance than I did in a whole year as a registered nurse. If you're thinking of leaving the nursing industry and pivoting to insurance sales, we have leads, we have mentorship, we have training we have a place for you. If you wanna have control over your time with the opportunity to earn unlimited income, click the link below. Yeah, and when she's, when we talk about her income, we had her on one of our calls and she has an ex-spouse and she, her bonus one month was like 80 grand in one month. And she's like, and if any of you tell my ex-husband that, I will hunt you down. Like she was like, so, didn't want him to know because it's so, you don't expect someone to make that kind of money doing this, right? But she's she's making, she's building a $2 million house in Queen Creek right now, and it is amazing. And she's only been in for four years. So the potential is really big. Yeah. So we next. We hear amazing stories. Like we, in our um, boot camp we went to in, in December, um, one of the men there has been in this for a while, and he is very successful. And, one of the things he, that he said that really got me and, and another guy kind of said something similar, but, you know, going into a Walmart or Target or whatever and finding, finding, going up to the um, customer service office and asking, what's the total amount of everything you guys have on layaway at the store and just paying that whole bill. And none of those people will no. ever know it was him who did it, but just the kind of feeling to be able to go in there and do it. Um, and another guy who very recently got to the very top of the company who's making 130% contract level you know says he has the ability to give back to the things that he's passionate about every year more so in in dollar figures than he made every year before he came over so there's there's a ton of money out there to be made it's just a matter of getting out there and, and working for it and going and, and getting your parts your piece to the pie i was a teacher for Whoop. 16 years here we go all right, so we're gonna kind of just go over where to go from here. Um, go ahead and go to the next. So how to move forward, okay? So if you're looking for a job or a business, right? You have to get life and health license if that's what you're looking to do. 
You can use your resources to study, prep, prep for the exam. We have, we use Excel in our company. Um, there's exam effects and then for sure the insurance exam queen, if you're like me and I cannot stand studying, I cannot even tell you, it took me two weeks to study for that exam. Jeff read it for like twice and he passed it with an 86 and I got a 72. I was like, oh, this is ridiculous. But if you don't, if you're like me, Melissa is literally life-changing because I watched her videos and then all of a sudden I understood it. So I was like, hey, this is awesome. So you would schedule, take, and successfully pass the test. Um, decide what opportunity fits you best. Is it a job that you work for somebody and you get to go eight to four, or eight to five and get home at night and that's what you want to do, then you could do that. Um, if you're working for a company, we want you to, I mean, obviously you build your resume gather references, apply for jobs, prepare for your interviews. But if you plan on working for yourself and starting your own business, definitely research companies, okay? I mean, you saw one today, but there are so many out there and you wanna look for what is gonna fit you. What's gonna fit your lifestyle? What are their core, what the company's core values are? Are they fit what you want? Um, you know, consider the compensation structure. Some of them out there are going to start super, super high. Like you might see 110% contract to start, but they have no ownership opportunities or they don't have many carriers to choose from or they, you know, whatever it is, like look for what you want, what fits your life, what is for you. You know, learning and mentoring resources, ability to learn and grow. Um, and then once you find the company you want to work with, you contact the company and begin the sign up on onboarding process. So that are some cool. options that you have next. Yep. So bottom line, do your research, make sure you know what you're getting into. Um, you know, Don't just sign up with the first one that recruit, yeah. you know, messages yeah. you because there's so many out there and if you're on LinkedIn, I, they're they're looking for you. Yeah. And I don't know a lot about the companies, but people that have been around a lot, like they'll all ask, so what do you, what do you know about this company? And they'll, they'll be like, oh, well, they have no training or they don't have this or they don't have this type of products or, you know, whatever it is. And that's where you want to decide, what do I want? What does my family need? So just research, look at all the options and then decide from there. So with us, so we have our cross life agency opportunity. So if you're interested in working with Jeff and I within symmetry, you get access to mentors with proven success in the life insurance agency or industry. You have the ability to partner with over 80 carriers, um, step-by-step -step, easy to tr follow training program that gets you productive right away. Industry leading lead program, highly competitive commission structure and ability to own your agency to pass down to your family, down the line. Like there are people right now in our agency or in our company that have $25 million a year agencies. They're making 300,000 a month and that will continue for their whole life, their kids' whole lives. It will never stop. Like it will continue to grow because they've grown it for so long. So that's kind of what you have here. But if you are interested in working with us, that QR code will take you to a form that QR code, that form will come to us and then we will contact you and find out what you're looking for and see if this is a good fit for you. So now let's go over some questions. Ask away and you can unmute yourself and we can chat. I think stop screen sharing so we can be on the big screen. Yeah, yeah. There we go. Yeah, questions. Pass your test, Janet, you got this. Melissa can help if you need help. I'm telling you, if you don't have, I didn't even know she had a program. Um, I just saw her videos on YouTube and I'm like, I've known her my like for so long and I just watched the videos that were free. I didn't know that she had like a program you could buy, um, but she has a program you can buy and she has tons and tons of videos. So my own business would be great. Oh, we all need mentors, girl. We all, even now, like. Absolutely. So um, I work for a captive agency right now. Okay. Um, But if I get my wife to, she's a stay at home mom. Mm -hmm. uh, we got two kids. Yep. Um, If she, so she needs her life and health, right? Yep. Okay. So, um, well, I guess what the point I'm trying to get at is, 
that there is like how this sounds like very this sounds, symmetry sounds awesome. Mm-hmm. Like what is in it? What is in it? What is in it for symmetry? Like, I'm sorry, I, I don't I mean to sound malice. Where, or, where I'm just like, totally get it. Totally get it. You want to answer that, babe? Yeah, I mean they they get a part of everything else too. I mean they're they're successful. I mean of course they're, they're they have the corporate structure. They're at the top, um, so they do make money off of it. But really, I mean they're in it to help as many people become successful as possible. Like Charmaine mentioned earlier, and you'll hear this from the the founders of Symmetry that they'll refer to themselves as a self improvement company that just happens to sell insurance. And the so, companies pay us. So they don't pay us directly except for bonuses. So yeah. when we write policies, it doesn't come from symmetry. It comes from the carriers. So the carriers are the ones that are paying us to write the policies. The carriers are paying us. So they don't have to deal with that. They're only paying out the bonuses, to us, which is really, really cool. That's awesome. Yeah. But yeah, I mean, anyone, if your wife wanted to get life and health license and she could start and you know, whatever you wanted to do, there's totally, like, I did this for a few months before Jeff came on board. So there's totally tons of options. You can start slow, you can come all in, it's up to you. Next questions, ask away, we're here y'all, ask away. Maria passed, when did you pass Maria? Um, Sonia, um, so s- fill out that form anyway, um, and we'll all contact you and we will, cause we can still get, like I have, if you ha- are not licensed yet, if you're not in a program, we have discount codes. Melissa has her own discount codes for things. So we definitely have options. January 18th. Oh, that's recent. That was just less than a month ago. Congratulations. Silver package. Yeah. She has, I have she has a question. Yes, ma'am. Yes, um, I was wondering, so I'm currently studying um, to receive life and health and um, essentially with symmetry and, um, you know, your offerings with your agency, having no prior experience in insurance, it would be possible to start out. As you mentioned, there's, um, you know, training and mentorship ongoing. I was thinking of the part-time option and to keep potentially my full-time job now just to make that transition easier that's something that's um, possible happens all the time that's what most people do most people start that way and and in fact a lot of people who start off part-time are even more successful because they're much much more focused in that time that they are working this business Mm -hmm. yeah so yeah Yeah, absolutely nothing nothing wrong with that yep and, and it's a good thing if you don't have like, like for investing in yourself, like investing in your business, if you have a job, you have some money coming in so you're not like, I don't have money for leads. I don't have money for this. You have income still that you can use. And then when you're, you know, writing policies, you can then use the money from your commissions to do that. And then you don't have to use your job money, you know? So absolutely. And you can, there's so many people who have never done any insurance. We didn't do life and health. We did a lot of other insurance, but we didn't do life and health until we came here. And it's like, holy cow, this is, and what you learn on the test, we don't even use. So if you haven't tested yet, go and just study quick, get through it, pass the test. And then everything that you need to do your job and your business is in the company. Same. We were all doing that. And one more question. Um, there was a slide where you had listed different um, like life products and health products. Yep. Is it possible to specialize in just one or? Um... Yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. Okay. Yeah. And there, when, with the lead types, like there will be some that are general life. There will be some that are just for IULs. There will be some that are mortgage protection. So you can choose, pick and choose what you, what you offer people. Absolutely. And okay, that's kind of what we recommend getting comfortable with a certain carry, like few carriers up front, because there are so many, there's no way to know everything with every carrier. Start with some, get comfortable with them that way. Then you can add them in from there. Or if somebody doesn't qualify for something or whatever, you can then go to a new carrier. But 
Baby girl. <laughs> oh, sorry. I was, I didn't mean, I, I have myself. Well, you're fine. Mute. I was going to say, you're where fine. is she? Let's see. <laughs> Scarlet. <laughs> I got my boy. Hold on. I got my boy right here. Sure, see him. Oh, hi, buddy. <laughs> my daughter right here. Hi, hi. guys. Oh, hi. How old are they? <laughs> So this is my boy. This is my girl. Oh, how old are they? Four, and then she is. I mean, he is. Uh, uh, one. Yeah, it goes. It goes fast. You <laughs> and them at that that age because it goes fast. Yes, we will post the code again. <laughs> Can you share your screen and go back to the code? Yep. I'm getting it up right now. What is the release policy? What do you mean? Regina, what do you mean by release policy? Oh, there. There it is. There's the code. So that will be, oh, like a non-compete clause. Um, I'm not aware of one. I'm not either. Oh, if it doesn't work. Okay, so if it doesn't work out, like that, it's not a problem. Um. There is, you just have to go to the care, like each of the carriers and just say that you're not going to do it anymore. And then they'll release you. I think at that point, if it's, a, if you wanted to go somewhere else, um, if you were licensed or not licensed, but contracted with a carrier, I think it takes a little bit of time for you to be able to get recontracted if it's with another IMO, but I'm yeah. not, a, I think every carrier is going to be different on that. You just have uh, to change your, your manager or management company or IMO association. Like I know when we bring, I've, I've brought somebody on who was already an agent before and she was coming over to us. So she had to, there was like a form that she filled out and then that would was then sent to the carriers that we were contracting her with. And so like if she was with another one, it just switched it from that care, that contracting place to us so there's a form that we do if you're coming or going so it's not a big not a big deal yeah. but we're not going to hold you we're not going to hold your license or prevent you from going to a different company if, if you choose to move somewhere else for sure because we know this isn't for everybody so there'll be no hard feelings if you ever wanted to not do it or you know it's not for everybody and some people want something different and that's totally fine totally fine so where where would I go? I would just go online and get started with Symmetry, basically, so or with you guys. If you fill this or fill out the form on that um, right here, then we would contact you, and then I would we would then send you an invite to Symmetry from our website. So then it would get you in the contracting process. So we'd be under your agency. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yep. Charmaine. Yes. Hi, it's Eddie. I Hi. got a question. Yeah. If I do the, the QR with you guys, right? Yep. Are you my mentor because you're my upline or is it a different mentor? No, we would be. Yeah, we would. Jeff and I would be. And then we have all of our above people that would help as well. And at the same time, would I if I end up doing it also, I can see the success from you guys and your two Absolutely. uplines on top. Absolutely. For sure. Oh, that's great. That's awesome. Yep. Oh, one of the things that we didn't talk about, um, our team specifically, um, Denise, message me and I will send you that website. She's on Jordan's team. Yes, I will send that to you for sure. Amanda, just message me. We'll talk. Um, okay, so I'm sorry. What was the question again? Oh, oh, oh now I know. Sorry, I got squirrel syndrome too. Um, with our team we have a workroom so we have a workroom that we can go into and it's where we're all dialing we're all working together and if anyone has questions like maybe they're on a call and they're like what do I do I don't know how to do this you post in the chat and someone's going to be there to help like it's all amazing and they're like leaders that have been with the company for seven eight years and they'll just be there to help us it's so awesome and we have that going right now where there's live dialing every um tuesday thursday and friday um and we're trying to get it to where it's open every day for somebody to be dialing so those of us that are new or those that are new they can listen to how somebody words something or how they call or how they speak on the phone and something might work for you and something might work for someone else, but it gives us lots of ideas 
to, um, you know, how to, how to make it work for us. Denise, I will message you. Okay, perfect. Sounds good. I will text you as well, Amanda. Are y'all just a life insurance agency? Do y'all do health as well? So we, it's life and health, but there's not a whole lot of health that you do. The reason you have the health license is in order to do like critical illness policies, such as heart attack, cancer, stroke policies, um, you have to have a health license. Those are not life policies. So you have to have the health license in order to write those kind of things. And also you have to have a health license to write accidental death, which is kind of weird, but you do have to have that most of the carriers. There. We have one carrier that has an accidental death policy that you can write if you don't have a health license but most of them you have to have a health license for that. So that's why we recommend definitely doing life and health together. If you can. I'm glad I got it. <laughs> Good, job. <laughs> Good job. All right. What else? What other questions? You guys have stuck with us for a while here. That's awesome. Um, pros and cons of having an employer. Would I have to be receive non-resident license? to be a part of no you just have the if you have a resident license in any state that's all you need you don't have to have a non-resident anywhere you just have to have your one license yep. yeah so if you're licensed in minnesota you can write minnesota policies all day and night long as much as you want to you just can't write in other states until you get licensed in those specific states and those you don't have to take a test you just go online and apply for non-resident so you don't have to take another test or anything else pros and cons of having an employer does the company training count towards your 24 hours of i am not sure about that babe did I you think, i think some of that may i haven't honestly done all of that research i think some of them some of it may but it, it's pretty limited at best right now we'll find that out i'll ask that question specifically and we will get that answer because <laughs> we're gonna have to be doing that very shortly too yeah yeah we're coming up on those timelines Yep. Very cool. What else? Anything else before we shut it down? So Ooh, the only me. symmetry is with an agent that works with them already? That's... Yes. You have to have someone that brings you in. Yes. Okay. Like if, you, if you went directly to the company, which the company also has a recruiting thing also, like if someone came to symmetry specifically asking for, you know, to work with them, They'll what? put that information in a in a like a bucket and we can buy those leads and then bring you in that way. So if you went directly to the company, there would still be somebody that would you would report to that would get to you. Okay. That makes sense. So basically, I'm just trying to understand because I'm I'm nosy. Yeah. Um uh basically it is symmetry is an independent aid uh independent marketing. Yep. company for uh, independent agents, right? Yes. Okay, that makes sense. That's yep. how they make the money. I get it. That, so they're they're generating leads. They get paid off of anything we sell or y'all sell, right? So I'm sure sell, like, something. I don't know what the percentages are that they get, but I know they. I'm sure the carriers pay them. Uh, and that's I, smart. Yeah, I'm sure they get something because they are they're yeah. here helping us so <laughs> no yeah no that's that's awesome that's that's pretty cool i appreciate y'all's uh um i guess patience with with me just trying yeah, to course. understand that's the way that's why After, here. you have to ask the questions and get them answered or that's the only way you're going to make a good decision of what you're doing because if you don't get your questions answered you're going to end up going with somebody and you're going to regret it later so get the questions answered so you know what you're looking for. Do you require to buy leads? You're not required to buy leads, but if you want, if you're not using like your own, like I do use social media, I do get my own leads that way. But if you don't have that kind of thing where you're getting your own leads, then you would have to, you would have to buy leads in order to write policies for people. So uh, I, since I work for State Farm, I can just <laughs> talk to those people and then send those leads to my wife. <laughs> and <it's so> close. <laughs> I mean, I, I, State Farm probably wouldn't like it very much, but <laughs> I don't know how that would work. But yeah, they're independent contractors that sell State Farm products. 
my my I don't think my boss man would care because it, it doesn't inter interfere with. Does well, I mean, he, I guess. It, does I he mean, sell life insurance there? Yeah, he does sell life insurance. So he probably would. Uh, that's why I asked about health insurance because we don't sell health. Mm -hmm. I mean, we sell health, but it's like short term disability income and long term disability, but not like HMO and PPO. Does Symmetry have that? Uh no. Ah, uh, okay. Okay, then never mind. That'd be yeah. That wouldn't. Be <laughs> Man, I got ideas though. <laughs> yeah. There's so much to do though. Like the the ability and the options you have are so big. And like there's so like we were talking the other night, there's so many people we worked with at USA that we loved working with. Like you just build relationships in bit in companies and there's a few of them that are now like we're missing each other. They're like, we want to come do it with you guys. This looks so cool. So we have friends that are wanting to build because they can see the opportunity that we that we have in front of us also so they're like we're gonna come help you and do this too so that's the exciting part yeah. and sean has a question in the chat about the carriers who we can work with so yes we can only work with the carriers who are partnered with symmetry but there there's over 80 of them and they're all the, the ones that we're going to recognize in the industry so they're all the best of the best um who we partner with so yes they do have to be partnered with symmetry um but it's going to be more than enough of what we need to be, be productive in. So many in, uh, options. Successful. Like there's, I know that there's companies out there that only do like, they only have a few term policies and then maybe they focus on like retirement or they only have whole life and they only have final expense. Like our company range of that we have a, like ability to work with, the product range is so big. So if you have a client that maybe doesn't like term coverage and they only like whole life, then you pivot and go to the companies that have the whole life. Like it's not, um, but all 80 wouldn't be available. It depends. Most of them should be. Most of them are all in be. every state. Yeah. Available in every state. Yeah. Um, the question above. We can only work with the carriers who are partnered with Symmetry. Let's see. Hey, Charmaine. Yes. This is Eddie again. Also, Hi. we can do it in Spanish and everything. Uh, yeah. Well, oh, for supuesto. Yes. There you go. They love, they love Spanish speakers because, and that's a great part too. There's our company is so awesome. Like if I had, I had a policy and I wasn't licensed in California. Okay. I didn't have my California license, but I have a team member, one of our friends, he's licensed in California. So he issued the policy and we just split the commission. So a lot of people, if they have a Spanish speaking client and they don't speak Spanish, they'll find someone who speaks Spanish and do the split commission for that. So you may get, you may get leads from somebody just and issue half of it and you split the half with the other, uh, the other agent. So it's really Is there a strict, strict uh, script regarding the Spanish one, or you can yeah. pretty much change it yourself. There really, there really isn't a strict script. There's not a strict, you have to say anything. They give you guidelines, like yeah. make sure you're, you know, just get the point across, but there's Got no strict strict script about anything that's tough to say script strict i don't i was like destroying my words <laughs> <laughs> thank you of course, of course. Yeah. all right y'all but this will be up on youtube she said hopefully by tomorrow um should maybe wednesday if not so either way if it, it'll be up available so if you want to go back and look at slides if you wanted the qr code um we are available all the time, all the time, Maria. And one of our, my mentor also will get on the phone with us. Like he is already ready to like bring all of my new people in. Cause we're building a quick speed because we are so excited about this. So anyone that comes in, we have direct access to our mentor. So if you want to reach us, so you can, of yes, course, if you, you want to, contact you just fill out this qr code and then it'll fill out the form it'll give us all your contact info and we will contact you yeah, yeah. or you can go through melissa melissa has our has charmaine's contact information so you can go through melissa and, and get to us that way too but, and yeah. i think i put my phone number on the form and like so she posted something in her group it has our email address on there you can either scan that or email us and we will get we'll get in contact to you probably tomorrow because we have to feed our kids too now <laughs> <laughs> They're probably yes. down there waiting for us. <laughs> Melissa, no worries. This will be available again to watch um, by tomorrow or, or Wednesday. She'll have it on her YouTube channel. 
but I will send you myself. I'm going to text you my cell phone number in here. That way you can text me. Oh, also, I have one last question. I'm sorry. Of course. Yes, of course. Is there a penalty for not recruiting? Not no. at all. Not at all. Not at all. Okay. No penalty. The only thing no. you have to think about, you guys, is if you want the residual income to keep coming in when you're not working, building the agency is the only way for that to keep coming in. Yeah. Yeah, we've heard stories about other carrier or other IMOs that beat you over the head trying to get you to recruit, 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 recruit. It's not like that here. It's it's encouraged and it's supportive if you if you want to go that route, but no one's going to, you know, exclude you from anything whatsoever if you choose not to go that route. Yeah. That's why they have the oh. both options. So uh no so requirements, each... no quotas, nothing like that. No requirements. Awesome. So each agency is different then. Yeah. yeah. Each individual well, okay. is different for sure. Absolutely. Every person's different. Every individual is different. Everything. Thank you. Gotcha. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you all. Yeah. Thanks I'm for gonna... sticking with us for two hours. Thanks yeah, for that's all the a questions, long time. That's, interaction. That's yes. Commitment. We're proud of you guys all. <laughs> Thank you so much. But yes, I will um, get back to you all. If you filled out the form, we will contact you guys tomorrow. One of us, either Jeff or myself, will be calling you or texting you and we'll get some things going. No requirements. Nope. Awesome. Thank you. Thank yep. you guys. Uh, oh, wait. Before we disconnect, my I'm going to just say my cell phone number in case you guys want to write it down. 623-203-0364. I just put it in the chat. You can definitely save it, text me, and we will go from there also. Just make sure you t send me your name when you text so I, have, so I can save it too. <laughs> Six two three two zero three zero three six four, and we'll be contacting you guys. Thank you all so much. You have a great night. Good luck with you your too. Whichever way y'all choose to go. Thanks. Bye bye. Bye y'all. Bye.